Hi, my name is Dr. Brian Gruber, and I'm the founder of Integrated Orthopedics. PRP is actually using your, own, your body's own ability to heal itself. So basically the body uh, has in it, in, in the blood, platelets, and platelets are very important in that they have growth factors. And growth factors really allow, uh, uh, or a component of the body being able to heal itself. So what PRP is, is a concentration of platelets, which therefore is a concentration of growth factors, and we're really tapping into the body's ability to heal itself. PRP is uh, used in a, a myriad of or orthopedic uh, issues. Uh, we can use it uh, in the clinical setting, meaning in the clinic, to avoid surgery, hopefully, and then we also use it in the surgical setting. Uh, for, and we really started to expand the, the utilization of PRP. Some of the early uh, PRP indications uh, would be for tendon injuries. For example, this is a knee model, and this is the quadriceps tendon, so tendonitis of the quadriceps or tendinosis which is where the quality of the tendon is affected, uh, or the patellar tendon, for example. And here with the shoulder, for example, you've got a uh, rotator cuff. So we do a lot of PRP uh, for you know, rotator cuff disease when we really want to try to keep people uh, away from surgery if possible. So partial thickness injuries or interstitial tearing um, are very classic indications for PRP. For example, we'll go back to the rotator cuff. You can have a rotator cuff tear where if you were to look at the cuff, uh, from the bottom side or the top side, both, the, the, both those would look normal. However, the inside, if you will, or think of it like the filling of it, it is torn. So we call that an interstitial tear. Uh, PRP works really well for that. Basically, you're injecting the PRP in, inside the tendon, and that's a very good indication. So a lot of the tendons can have that interstitial type tearing, be it the Achilles tendon, the, the lateral tendon on the elbow, uh, the patellar tendon, or even the quadriceps tendon. You can use PRP many different ways. There is one way initially is to keep people out of surgery. So uh, for different types of uh, uh, tendon issues, uh, we feel that we can, we're able to get the tendon uh, to, to heal itself. Uh, however, sometimes that's just not possible uh, or if it's too far gone. So oftentimes we'll get an MRI to determine you know, how badly the tendon is torn, for example. Uh, oftentimes if the tendon is 100% torn, so say you've got your rotator cuff tendon, and it's 100% torn off the bone and it's pulled away, I think that we're probably asking PRP to do too much to be able to reattach that tendon. So that would be a situation where failure of conservative treatment, you'd be more inclined to go to the operating room. Um, however, in the operating room, we're, we're, we use PRP. So we'll use PRP to augment tissue to allow, again, the body's ability to heal itself. And really what we think is going on is the uh, PRP is really signaling, you know, other, uh, 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 tissues to come and help repair. So you've got the platelets and the, and the growth factors and, and that whole milieu, if you will, is very um, healing friendly and it really improves the potential for the body to heal. So once we've determined that, that the patient is a candidate for PRP, that's, that uh, sets up a situation where they, they come to the office and we do this uh, uh, from, a, uh, from a procedural standpoint. Oftentimes we'll get patients uh, uh, you know, a, a pain medication beforehand, so they'll have a driver, so it's a very comfortable setting. Uh, all injections are done under ultrasound, so they're guided, so we know exactly where the PRP is going. So I don't want to get ahead of myself, but the first thing we do is a blood draw. It's much like you've had a blood draw for you know, any just giving blood or you know, any sort of testing. So what we'll do initially is do a blood draw, and we take about uh, 20 cc's of, uh, of your blood, which isn't much, uh, and then we spin it down. And the spin down process takes about five minutes or so, and the company comes in and helps us with that. So once it's spun down, typically that 20 cc's is spun down to give or take two to five cc's of PRP, and that just depends on the patient. So once we have that two to five cc's of PRP in the syringe, then we take it uh, and go to the procedure room, and then we're going to uh, do the ultrasound guided injection to the area of interest. Well, we kind of call it surgery without a scalpel. So we do want people to take it easy. So the first couple of days, PRP can be sore. Uh, the sites can be sore. So we like for patients to take it, uh, you know, take it easy with that. But that being said, you don't necessarily need to be on crutches or be in a sling. However, uh, we do like to implement a little bit of physical therapy. Uh, oftentimes, after we'll do an injection uh, to really get maximal benefit. So the question is, 
how often do you do this? We like to, in some situations, PRP is definitely curative, and we have some really great stories on how patients, you know, have had one to two sessions of PRP, and, and they just have not had any further issues. Uh, there are other issues, for example, we're doing arthritis now with PRP, and there's some really good studies showing that it is more effective than some of the common traditional treatments, such as the uh, lubricant shots or the hyaluronic acid injection shots. Uh, those types of injections, I, are, are, that's not going to be curative from the arthritis. PRP cannot cure your arthritis. However, it can definitely temporize the situation. Um, oftentimes, people want a very natural way. They do not want steroid, for example, because steroid isn't natural. Uh, we see a lot of that. I hear a lot of that. PRP is definitely, uh, um, is, is, it can't get any more natural because it's your own. So it, it's uh, very attractive to, uh, to a lot of people for that reason as well. I think the PRP is exciting. You know, I think that uh, we're on the, cu the cutting edge of something. And in, in 10 years, I know that we'll be doing things differently. And we're, we're, we're on something special with PRP and the other biologics that we're doing. And I think that it's something that, that all patients should you know, consider and continue to educate themselves on.